Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Goku Spirit Bomb. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So, his head's pretty low down now just to fit in his arms and stuff, right? So, so I'd say the center point of my page is about here. And then we're going to come right down. His head is like down here, so I might have to zoom in on this. So just because I wanted to fit in most of his hands and some of the spirit bomb along the top. So it's just like a curved circular line, right? So, right, so we'll start with this W that's in the middle of Dragon Ball characters' faces. So you just do like kind of a bumping sort of W basically like that. And then out from there, we're going to do his eyebrows. So you kind of tick it, tick up like so. And like some of this goes under hair. So yeah, you don't really see it all, but we'll draw it in anyway. And we can erase it. So square at the end. And then comes down real skinny down to there. Then you color it in black. Right, and then tick up the other side. Like so, square on the end, and then bring it down. Real thin, down to there. And then color it in black. So, right, so then it's kind of normal Goku eyes, right? So we don't have um, crazy Super Saiyan eyes or anything like that. So it just comes out from here. They're real big. Comes down. And then over. Like so. Out. Down. And then over. Like so. And then we have a semicircle for eyes. Just under his eyebrow. They're black as well. Another one here, like so. His nose, so we'll go down, sort of over to the left a little bit, not in the center. And then it's got like a hook on the bottom, like so. And then the shadow on the back here, like so. Then the mouth pretty much like touches the nose nearly. Like so. And his mouth is open, so we'll bring it down the back. Down to there. Bring it across. Up to here. And curves across for teeth. Like so. And then the bottom teeth. And there. And the bottom teeth usually have like bumps and stuff. Just there like that. And maybe like a line down the center. Bottom lip line, just like that underneath his mouth. And then his chin, just here. Okay. So in terms of proportion, his head is kind of tilted forward, but in general, eyes to the bottom of his nose is about the same as bottom of his nose to the chin. Okay, here to here, about the same as here to here. So nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin, right? Um, and normally his bottom lip line will be halfway, but because his mouth is open, it's probably like this tooth line here. So like nose to that tooth line is about the same as that tooth line to chin. So this line is about halfway between the nose and the chin. Okay, rough proportion. Um, so. Then once you kind of have that in line, we can do sort of lines, wrinkle lines on his on his nose and stuff, and cheek marks that Dragon Ball characters have coming around there. And then we give him a jaw. 
jaw comes out and sort of stops underneath the edge of his eyebrow or eye depends on the character but in this one it's like eyebrow slash eye and then we change direction and go up side of his face like so okay and then we'll add his fringe and we can't see his ears well we can kind of see his ears okay so fringe spikes up and over like so classic sort of goku hair next one this is all black of course well unless you want to add some like spirit bomb um style stuff so this comes down there and then there, up and over. And like so. Back out to there. Up, there. And then another one here beside us. Like so. Right, so then we can see um, some sort of frown lines just in here and a stray hair coming down this way. And of course, like his face is like scratch marks all over as well. So feel free to add as much of that as you want. And I'll just erase these lines that we shouldn't see underneath his hair. Okay, so more sort of hair spikes sticking out. Some of them go behind his arms. Like on this side, a couple go behind his arms. Some stick out. So let's see. We'll just, we'll add the ones that stick out here anyway. Curving out here. Spike out, back in. Then his arm kind of comes out here. So we skip one. And we just have like a line there. And then the round part of his head here. So if you're wondering how high up, like see his face, his face fits in here. So like the chin to top of his forehead, it's about the same as forehead to just the top of this head line here, right here. Okay. So that's where that starts and comes down. So you don't want to go much higher than that. Because his head will look way too big. So just a face high is about how high you want to go up. Roughly. So then the rest of his hair. Spike up, down, next one, up and over, that way, down, and a real big one. Some of this goes behind his arm now, but we'll draw it in anyway, just so we can get in the shape. And then, this comes out, down, and back into there. And every now and then he'll have some like stray. So it's not like classic Goku hair. It's kind of a bit messy because he's like, he's been fighting and stuff. So, all right, like so. And it's all colored in black, but it's got some like light blue lighting from the top, you know, from the spirit bomb up here. Some of these will be colored blue ish. Right, so his shoulder sort of, so his shirt, right, comes around. So this is like his shoulder. It's kind of ripped and torn. His t-shirt coming around the front. It comes up around here, okay. And you can see a little bit of his ear. Like in here. With like bones and ligaments and stuff inside. And... A little bit on that side. So then his collarbone, his neck muscles, etc. So collarbone or chest muscles go up that way. Same on this side, kind of bumping up like so. And then like another line in there. Chest. Um, 
also like to get like a chest or something there. Chest muscle goes down the front here, like down the middle. And then neck muscle here, here. Maybe beside it roughly there. And like some lines for his neck maybe coming down that way. And going back that way. But you can't see much. Okay. Right, so then his sleeves are all ripped and torn. Squiggly coming down around here. Right. And then, so that's, so he's got like an armpit line. Folds for his clothing. Line coming around underneath. The other side as well. All ripped and torn. Coming down like so. Back up. Four lines for his clothing, his armpits and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, so his arms are, go are going to go straight up out here, right? So let's go. So we go triceps, so we go bumping. So he's a very muscly dude, so... We'll add these sort of muscular lines first, right? And then tricep comes up here. Right, so then the bicep is on this side, so it blocks off that piece of hair, okay? Tricep, bicep. So the other side of the bicep comes down this way. Goes into there. And like another line, like here or something. Like a line there. Goes in towards his hair. And his sleeve, yeah, that's his sleeve, goes back under there. So we can't see what's underneath here. So then, forearm, we'll start here, go up. And it's relatively, it's kind of, it's shorter than this, because it's kind of, he's kind of leaning back a little bit, right? So this kind of stops up here at his um, wristband, and then it comes down this way. Right. And then with the bicep, we've got like some forearm lines coming out of that, like a line there, there. Like so, and then this goes up to there. Again, scratch marks and things on his arms. Right, well, I think that's the best I can do for that arm anyway. Right, so we'll go over and do the other one. Right, so, so again, muscle there, similar, um, and then this kind of sticks out here again, up around into there, and then, so that's tricep, so then tricep out there. Right, this line, similar, and then bicep line, out and down, and your bicep kind of goes into your shoulder, like an into your armpit, you feel where it actually ends, that goes in that way, and then like another sort of armpit line or something in there. And maybe like the 
other side of his bicep here. Comes up like so. And then uh, sort of elbow, elbow slash, well, you can't really see his elbow because it's on the other side, but it's like his forearm here and then the forearm here behind his hair. I mean, they're about the same level. So bump it around like that. And then we'll add some sort of extra sort of muscle lines and things for his forearm just here. Like so. And there's a line like here and something here. And then scratch marks all over. Right, so, okay, his waist, or his wristbands, should I say, so bump line coming out here, bump line coming out there, and then the side of it, like so, and then another, and sort of ripped and torn sort of as well, coming around that way, same on this side. Goes up the side. So, down, like so, nice. It can be dirt and scratch marks and things on it as well. Okay, so his hand, so we can only see like a thumb and an index. So his hand bumps around the bottom here, sort of bumping like that. Okay, and something similar on this side, so bumps bumps around like so and then the thumb comes out here so his hands are like you know flat going up so thumb comes around like so uh, nope. and then goes into like his wrist I guess too so we should have like a wrist line here just a, like a fold of skin and then a finger going back like so. That way. Similar on this side. And then a finger stretching. So, and so you can see like thumbnail or something, fingernail there, maybe like thumbnail, a little bit, like so, knuckle line, knuckle lines here. I think some of his wrist comes up this way, down and in. Like so, not bad. So awkward sort of one to get in the right position, but at least it's only two fingers. Okay, so now the spirit bump. So like a circular shape just coming at like a half moon. You know, sort of like a curved line. 
So if you had something circular to trace around, you know, feel free to use that. But if not, just freehand it like so. And I'll just sort of thicken up this edge line of it. Um, and so we could have like energy lines, you know, coming sort of down like, you know, like the sun basically, you know, like maybe a ruler. Hold on. So like short ones, long ones. Coming down like so. And like, so the ones in the middle will go straight down. Right, like that. And then you go around like a clock. Just get in the the rough idea. You know, going around like so, and then just add as much of that as you want. So I think that's enough. <laughs> I'll leave it there. That's how to draw Goku and his spirit bomb. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.